Hi everyone, I'm Carby, the patronising and simplistic cartoon character. <coughs> Sorry about the squeaky voice, I just met some helium atoms. I'll be taking you through the last 300 million years of history, with a special emphasis on atmospheric concentrations of, well, me. It won't take long. I've been around since, well, the dawn of time. I'd gotten a nice little cycle going. I'd be in a plant with a whole gang of other carbies, then the plant would die or get eaten, and I'd be knocking around with a couple of oxygen molecules out in the atmosphere. Sooner or later, I'd sort of get breathed in by a plant, and then eaten, and, well, okay, it's not Brangelina, but everyone's got to make a living, right? But then, one day, for no apparent reason, it was real crowded. We were all packed in tight. I asked a neighbour how long we were going to be stuck there. He said he'd heard we weren't going to see sunlight for three hundred million years. I asked him if he was joking, but he said he meant it. Three hundred million years is a long time. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly long that is. I mean, you may think it's a long wait to hear a denialist admit they make stuff up, but that's just peanuts compared to 300 million years. Anyway, finally, in the year 1859, by the reckoning of these amusing bipeds, well, I just got carried away and burned to release all that pent-up energy. After 300 million years of cheek by jowl with gazillions of other carbon atoms, I was no longer just a number. I was... Don't! Fortunately, the plant what photosynthesized me had a date with destiny. And so I didn't have to ride around in my Lincoln convertible for long. After that, I floated around with my oxygen bezies, got to see the Suez Canal being built, got to see the white bipeds colonising Africa. One time, I almost got caught up in a snowdrift on the Greenland ice sheet. I had a friend who didn't get away, and now the poor blighter sits in an ice core near Copenhagen. I met an old buddy from the hood. He told me that the local carbon atoms, who'd been free for these last 300 million years, were complaining about the immigrants overcrowding everywhere. You see, the bipeds were using their smarts to release us from our 300 million year old prison, making use of our pent up energy in the process. To celebrate my 100th year of freedom, I went on vacation to Hawaii. There I met a scientist called Charles Keeling, who was taking a census of all us interlopers. He hadn't expected to see an increase in carbon dioxide numbers, but boy, us 300 million years trapped carbon atoms are changing the demographic. Give us another 50 years or so, and we'll have doubled the population density of carbon dioxide molecules in the atmosphere. And we have this habit that I'd not mentioned yet of, well, trapping heat stopping it from leaking back into space. There's more I could tell you about how some of us go scuba diving in the upper bit of the ocean, and about how for a while plants get bigger with more CO2. But I'm too busy enjoying my freedom and meeting up with more and more of my old buddies. The humans seem to be having a party too. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs>